All right, today on the uh, Zombie Suburban, we are putting in a new headliner. Okay, all right, this thing's coming down now. Uh, like I said, all it takes was a few screws off that front trim panel and this back trim panel right above my head and this thing is down. So, it's coming out of here. All right. All right, so with the AC thing removed, this back, Panel just slides right on out of here. All right, so, all right, so there is the uh, front section of the headliner, and you can see we got some stains in here. I'm not sure what that's from. I don't want to know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna replace all that blue with something nicer. Okay, so this is the uh, back section here. And you see the both of uh, these headliners on the inside on the roof side have this crud. It's like a spray foam. I'm not sure if it's like a foam adhesive or what they used it for. Um, but it's a uh, it's all crumbling and it's a mess. It, we got to vacuum all this stuff off. Alright, so we're going to try to peel off this old foam. And I was talking to the guy at the auto parts store, he used to do upholstery. And he says, this is going to be a mess. And he recommends getting rid of all of the foam residue. Make sure the new headliner sticks. see a scraper in my future. Oh crap. Here it's actually clean up the uh, the cardboard a little bit. Prepare that to minimize it. Right. Come on, I don't want that. That would certainly minimize my scraping. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Move this back in place as well.
on there. The foam is really stuck to the cardboard. It's tearing the cardboard in half. I'm afraid it's going to destroy the cardboard. What you think? Yeah. Uh -huh. over half the can there. I may not have enough to finish the front half. I just blew $25 in 3M high strength number 90 contact adhesive on just half of the headliner. So, uh, man, 25 bucks a bottle, that's expensive stuff. I think I need to go online and see if I can't find stuff a little bit cheaper to do the other half. Um, yeah, pricey stuff. I thought I could do the whole headliner with one can. I was wrong. But the headliner is looking pretty good. I think I made the right decision to leave the old foam in place as it was really stuck to that cardboard. Um, there's one spot over here in the corner that looks a little funny. I'm not sure what happened over there. But like I said, this is the back half, so it's a good practice half. And uh, when I get my next can, I'm going to put the uh, adhesive on a little bit heavier. Uh, before I stick it down. So, um, hang on, we'll be right back with that second can. Alright, and I got some more of the 3M High Strength 90 contact adhesive. This time I got it at Home Depot, $13. It's a lot cheaper than the auto parts store. Here we go. When I did the back half, I waited a couple of minutes for the glue to get tacky. I think I might have waited too long. This stuff gets tacky quick. So yeah, don't really battle around. I say squirt both sides and just stick them together. Tech tip of 
today. Alright, so the glue is set, mostly, so we're going to go and cut this thing out. If you want to catch any of my shows, I'll be headlining in Austin tonight. <laughs> yeah, see? I have a laugh track just like Corbair. Just cutting around where the old foam was. Imagine what the factory did. I mean, if you guys don't think Steve O'Bear is funny, give me a thumbs up. Or if you don't even know who he is, give me a thumbs up. What a shill. Okay, so, anyway, we can't hang up that new headliner with blue trim pieces. That just looks stupid. So, uh, I'm going to clean these up a little bit. There's a couple of dents in here. They don't bother me too much. So, we're going to use acetone to clean these two pieces. The acetone dries quickly and it'll get off all the grease. So, we will be good adhesion with our... Dye. And for the dye, we're using SEM color coat. This is a medium gray, which is a little lighter than uh, factory gray in the this, this suburban. Uh, but it looks really nice. It looks really nice. Alright, All right, your first coat should be light. It's got a new nozzle for improved atomization. Coverage and pattern. Nice. So just a light coat to start with the adhesion. Let's hit the second coat. A little bit easier. Going a little bit heavier, I'm sorry. Have your coat going for even coverage. I must say that is a nice fan pattern. Oh man, that blue is really coming off. Wow. Oh wow. Guess I need some gloves. Alright, so back to some gloves. And uh, this panel covering the AC has probably been painted once before. Because I haven't seen any paint come off quite like this before. Again, a lot of paint off this thing. So if you guys do yours, let me know if the paint just kind of wiped right off your panel as well. Wow. I don't know. I don't see any other colors. Maybe that is the original color. Maybe GM had a problem getting this color to stick well to the uh, plastic. Looks like it might be a high density polyethylene, something like that, like milk jug material. It's like a translucent plastic. But that should be good enough. Alright, and just like the other panels, you just want to start with a thin coat. I'm trying to get down there in those vents early on. Second coat. Alright, well it's time to go install the headliner. So 
I'm going to crawl inside. Started. And we'll slide this liner into place there. Ah, good. Let's get the middle support going. Ah. Oh, front fell down. All right. See how that goes. <laughs> no bad the back of you. Oh no. Let's uh, get some more screws. It's going. It's going. A little screwdriver. This guy is pretty good at finding the screw holes. Let's see how he does here. Ah, 
Alright, so I've got a little flashlight, so maybe if I can see the screw holes on the side. I'll get this one here started. Let me look at the front ones. According to this thing, I gotta go forward quite a bit. Alright, got that one started. Oh! Let's do the same over here. This is definitely a two person job, but if your wife is busy marinating the fajitas, then you will figure a way out to do it yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's basically it. And uh, just need a few more screws. Need to put the side trim back in there, but we've got ourselves a new headliner. So, anyway, uh, thumbs up if you like. If you do it yourself, drop me a message, let me know how you did. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.